What is the weirdest habit of somebody that you've had to live with? Mm. I would say picking up dog ends in the streets and smoking them. My um, ex-girlfriend, she um, had a habit of um, smoking grass and it was way over, I don't mind, but it was way overboard. I lived with a housemate and she had to literally make sure before every time she left the house, every switch was up. Wearing socks with sandals, that's a very weird, weird habit and uh, I live abroad, I live in Slovakia, so there are many people that use socks with sandals, I guess that's weird for me. One of my friends used to, when he was young, used to always put his boogers on the wall and he'd have like a collection of it, I guess. That's when I was like six or something like that. My friend just walks around naked all the time. It's kind of weird, you know. I think it's OCD. Like, I am a tidy person and I will sweep and sweep my house, but I do think OCD is a bit weird, but I don't think it needs to be diagnosed. One guy that like a few years, few years back that I used to live with, like, he never used to uh, shower. Like, stinking. That, that's the weirdest thing. Like, I, I, I never understood that. Like, how can you not shower like, at all? Picking their feet on the table, you know, the coffee table in the sitting room, and clipping and stuff in public in the general room. Someone who doesn't normally buy toilet paper quite a lot. So, if you've emptied the conditioner or shampoo, not replacing it, so you get in the shower and there's an empty bottle of conditioner or shampoo. So, you have to get out of the shower wet to replace the shampoo or conditioner. Closing the door without putting the handle down smoothly, there's no need. For that bang, especially if I'm trying to sleep and uh, then I can't fall back to sleep. Cooking meat at 3 a.m. and leaving everything like unwashed. Not washing up after they cook. Not washing up is, I uh, guess, uh, the most annoying I'll give you one. that, I'm guilty. Yeah. When you get like a month's worth of yeah. dirty, dirty crockery and you're just like, Come on, guy. Come on, you got to sort this out. Some of them are a little bit intolerant, so everyone's got little qualms or things they do differently. Like me, I'm like I might leave a dish for a day or two or three, and uh, yeah, they're, they're not so keen on that. So they're, they're kind of like living with my mum again, which is why I'm in London. I don't want to escape that. When I, I can go into the toilet, someone take the money or something away for the moment. This is disgusting. When you are chatting with people and you give your soul in a house because you are in the same bubble so you don't meant to be oh reduce the bubble you want to open the bubble big for everybody feel like a family you know if you don't have family here so you but some people misunderstand that but um, I once had a friend I live with well I live with him and he loves to kind of like take off a lot of his clothes and he loves to we out the window really um, I don't know why he, I don't know why he likes to do it but he just likes getting to wee out the window and I don't really know why. I asked him why and he just can't give me a reason. He just says he likes to do it. Oh, my wife, oh, I'll tell you what, she, uh, um, she hasn't got one, she's an angel. I haven't got an annoying habit, sorry.